Now this is a painting that I have struggled with. It started out with a very grayish, dark background. I used a lot of grays, browns, blacks, kind of mixed it together. Uh, there was no hint of light coming out of the background. So the first day I worked on it after the background, uh, I was using black line, some browns. I was beginning to get a little sense of shape and form. Uh, I highlighted some areas with a pale yellow ochre, so it was starting to come out a bit. It was starting to have form and shape come out, and I was very happy with the painting. However, as days went by and I continued to work on this painting, it got worse and worse. I didn't quite realize it because I was so involved at that point with getting it together, making it work. I think a lot of uh, what, what I do in painting is problem solving. I see, uh, I sit and stare at the painting to see what I think it needs. Does it need something here or something there to bring it together? And I worked and worked, but when I left the room for a few minutes and then walked back in and saw it from a distance, I said, oh, no, that painting is not working at all. So at that point, I had to take drastic action. I knew that I couldn't make the painting work as it was. I was not going to finish that painting. So in a sense, I had to be ready to take a risk to move into a new painting. At that point, I needed bold action. And I think this is where you, be, you need to be able to be a risk taker in the kind of art that I do. Because you have to go out on a limb. You have to follow your instincts. You have to be willing to make an accident a mess that is never going to work. You have to be willing to ruin the kind of decent looking painting you already have to get to something better. So at that point, I used some bold black lines in here. I tried some wild colors. I had a bright blue in the painting. At one point, I tried a bright red. That did not work. So I kind of went crazy with the black, with some green. I kind of just destroyed the painting. And then I thought, well, I think I probably finished this painting for good. This canvas will have to be ripped up. But I had an idea. I had not a really an idea of instinct about using yellow lines. So I took an ochre yellow and made these yellow lines throughout the painting. And of course, it still did not look right. I used a brush, brushed over it, kind of blended it more into the background. And then I kept working. I thought, well, what can I lose, right? So I kept working with some black, some brown. And then at some point, I stood back and I realized I had won. I had made it work. And I think that's the exciting thing for me, to take uh, this process where you are improvising, where you're risking, where you're doing something wild, something that shouldn't work, and then you make that work. And that, to me, is the excitement, always searching for that experience, that struggle, where you finally make it all come together. And I think that's very important in my work, not to simply paint pretty pictures or do the same thing over and over that I've done before, but to take that risk to go out on a limb and then discover something that I haven't seen before. That's what painting means to me.